all right, let's be real for a second. I've been editing for over seven years now, and it wasn't until this year that I finally cracked the code on editing efficiently. These methods aren't just about saving time. They've helped me generate over millions of views across YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. But here's the deal. Editing faster isn't just about cutting time. It's also about being able to edit more, land more clients, and scale up your success. In today's video, I'm gonna break down to you five editing hacks that's gonna make you edit faster, smarter, and help you level up your editing game. Stick around, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, let's start with something super basic that you've probably heard over a million times, keyboard shortcuts. But honestly, if you're not using them, you're seriously slowing yourself down. Every second you save by not reaching to your mouse, it adds up. Like when you're in the middle of a big project, these seconds turn into minutes and then into hours. So here are the keyboard shortcuts that I pretty much use every single day. C for the razor tool, V for the selection tool, Ctrl Z and Shift Ctrl Z for undo and redo, and Shift Delete for ripple delete. And here's the cool part. You can actually customize these shortcuts in Premiere Pro to fit the way you work. Just go to the keyboard shortcut section under edit and set them however you want. I promise once you get the hang of these, you'll wonder how you edited without them. But let's keep moving, because I've got something that's gonna save you even more time. Look, when you're working on a project, you don't want to waste time applying the same effect to every single clip. That's where presets come in. Here's the deal, let's say you're creating a sick blur effect to your text. Instead of applying it to every single text layer one by one, you can just make the effect once and save it as a preset. And apply it anywhere you want with a click. It's that simple. So here's how to do it. First, create your effect. Then, right click on it and save it as a preset. Then, head to the effects panel, look for your preset, and just slap it onto any clip you need. And the best part, you could use this for all kinds of stuff. Effects, transitions, color grading, and even audio adjustments. Presets are basically like a shortcut to creativity. And speaking of shortcuts, let me tell you about something that's a total game changer when it comes to editing in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Okay, this is a big one, dynamic link. If you're editing in Premiere Pro and After Effects, but you're still exporting stuff back and forth between the two, you're doing it all wrong. Dynamic Link lets you select part of your video in Premiere, send it to After Effects, and instantly see the changes live in Premiere. No waiting around for exports, and no rendering time. This one feature is going to save you hours. Yes, hours. Hours of waiting for renders to finish. And it's all about keeping your workflow smooth and uninterrupted. Here's a little secret. There's no shame in using pre-made assets like transitions, titles, and sound effects. Let's be real, we all use them, right? Websites like Motion Array and Envato Elements have tons of high quality stuff that will instantly make your video look 10 times better. And no, this is not a sponsorship. But, and this is important, don't just slap a bunch of pre-made assets and call it a day. The key is to find assets that fit your style and make them your own. It's like adding a little extra spice to your video. You use it when it fits, but always bring your own creative touch to it. So use pre-made assets to save time, but always keep that personal flair. I know, I know, this sounds a little bit cliche, but hear me out. The more you edit, the faster you get. But that's only true if you develop consistent habits. It's about building a workflow that feels natural. Something you, that you can do every single time you open a new project. Here's the thing. If you start your projects the same way every single time, batch similar tasks together and stay organized, you'll get so much faster. You'll develop muscle memory and you won't even realize how much time you're actually saving. It's simple. Consistency is what separates the pros from the amateurs. And finally, if you start applying these five techniques, I promise you'll find a huge difference in your editing speed and workflow. And if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step guide or have any question, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Happy editing, and I'll see you in the next one.